everyone, now I want to get your attention to this amazing quote that one of the great investigators whose name is Mark Twain said that whiskey is for drinking and water is for fighting over. In his quote, we can infer that water is the most important tool for continuing our life on the earth because we don't only need it for agriculture. Also, our body is comprised more than 65% of water. In order to protect our generation future, our government has created some big dams since 3000 BC that have two sides. We can say it has advantages and disadvantages. Let's have a brief definition of dams. Dams are a massive barrel that store water of underground stream and it builds across the river. There are two types of dam. First one is created by stone and second one is created by cement. There are many dams in our community Kurdistan region include Dukan, Duhok and Derbandikhan Dam. Dukan Dam which is located in Suleymaniya was built in 1957 and its height is 151 meters and 1151 feet. Dam has advantages and disadvantages. Now I am going to tell you the advantages of dam. First of all, dam is used for hydroelectricity power. For example, more than 60% of Kurdistan region's renewable electricity comes from Dukan Dam, but 90% of renewable electricity comes from dams in the world. The main reason of building Dukan Dam was for hydroelectricity power. Second, it was for providing drinking water and control flooding. <laughs> This dam also has problems and it has effects on fish, wildlife and human population. First, it has a big impact quantity of fish member migration and fish movement. The dam blocks fish migration with many species completely and it makes all the species in danger. Dams have chemical and biological properties of rivers and stream site. Dam makes water to be cold and cold water have less nutritious. So it is killing fish. There are more than 40,000 dams in the world, but only those that are higher than 14 meters are currently obstructing the world's river. Dams have impact on human health. For example, the sound of the turbines has big influence to workers who work in downstairs of the dams. And they hear this big noise every day. As a result, it will dangerous their sense of hearing. Additionally, rising water level is one of the problems. Water level is increasing during night and it causes destructive erosion. Increasing the level of water is more dangerous than decreasing it level because it gets really high and it causes to endanger the dam. Therefore, workers should decrease the amount of water that they send of the dams. The countries build dams to solve electricity problems and the lack of water, but they don't think of disadvantages of making dams. Now I focus on solutions for these problems. First solution is using wind energy instead of building dams. William Kamkwamba was the first person who built wind turbine for his own house in 2002. Wind energy generates electricity. United Kingdom is the windiest country in Europe, receiving 40% of Europe's wind. And turbine displaces 2,000 tons of CO2 every year. Wind power doesn't use water to generate power and it's environmentally friendly. For using wind energy in our community, we need to form an effective organization with people to support us, to ask the government to use wind energy. 
For example, we can collect a significant number of signatures. This proves that people want to protect environment. Second solution is informing people about negative impact of dams in social media by giving hashtag on Twitter or Facebook, such as protecting fish or effects of dams. Third solution is making a group of students. This group should go to kindergartens, schools and universities to explain dams and impact on environment. By these three ways, we can solve problems of dams.